Welcome to Michiana Main Lines. This is Warsaw, Indiana, 1990. Watching a southbound ELFW. couple blocks of street running here, mainline street running. Again, this is ELFW. This is the uh, train from uh, Elkhart to Fort Wayne that has a locomotive on both ends. And we're going to be watching it make its maneuver to get off of this line onto the uh, Expensy Fort Wayne line. This is the Marion branch that runs south from uh, Goshen, Indiana down through Marion and to Indianapolis. Here in Warsaw it crosses the east-west NC line, which at this time was still owned by Conrail and operated by Conrail, I am pretty sure. They only have one half of a Y here on the southeast uh, side of the uh, crossing. So it was simpler for them to put a locomotive on each end of the train, just run past the switch, the front be, be, uh, comes to back, and then they proceed on to Fort Wayne, and uh, we'll see that take place here. We're looking north now, towards uh, Goshen, the other direction is south, this is a southbound. It's always nice to see street running. Street running is kind of in decline across the United States as many cities want to get the tracks out of the streets where they're even still operated. Except for maybe a few tourist type areas where it's actually promoted. Mainline street running is probably even more and more rare. when I'm doing this commentary. This track still exists. Of course, this is now Norfolk Southern. This is still a well-used mainline in 2019. Just imagine sitting on your front porch and being able to rail things. This train ran once a day both directions, as ELFW and then FWEL. Of course, the Marion branch has a lot of other traffic through here.
people bringing up the rear. Now we see them already getting onto the Y. They have uh, proceeded south past the switch, and now the uh, rear has became the front of the train, and they are going uh, through the Y there now. And we'll be getting onto the uh, Fort Wayne line. There is the east-west uh, Fort Wayne line. That line they are going on to now, that is the X, uh, X Pensy, which was double tracked at one time. Uh, just recently in the 80s, it was already single tracked across the state. That once hosted uh, Amtrak for a while there in the 80s. Possibly into the 90s, I'm not sure exactly when it stopped, but uh, eventually they took Amtrak off of it because the track wasn't up to. Uh, Amtrak speeds anymore. Conrail still had scattered business on the Fort Wayne line. There was a big uh, printing plant just uh, west of this location. I guess over the years there was talk of trying to make a full Y here and buying the property to do it, but it's just something that never happened. I don't know if it was a problem with securing property or if the railroad really didn't want to push it that much because there wasn't that much of a need, but they've just got one leg of a Y. There's a look at the uh, diamond. Marion Branch crossing the... Uh, on rail Fort Wayne line, expensive. In 2019 now, of course, the Marion Branch is Norfolk Southern. As I understand, the uh, ex uh, Pensy line is actually owned now by CSX, but the CF and E, Chicago, Fort Wayne, and Eastern, leases and operates it across the state. But Norfolk Southern still has uh, trackage rights on it and uses it. Norfolk Southern still operates a version of ELFW. I'm not sure what it is symbol now. And I don't know what exactly they do on the uh, Fort Wayne line west of here, if anything. I believe the printing uh, print. Uh, printing plant business is handled by CF and E. It's nice that what we see here now still exists in 2019, but it's also sad that the Pensy was once a double track main line. You can only imagine the traffic that ran on it in its heyday.
I believe prior to the Conrail buyout, Norfolk Southern either owned or did use the, the uh, Fort Wayne line as a means of relieving the congestion on their Argus uh, line south of here, their ex-nickel uh, plate. Not exactly sure if they bought it or if, if that was also a lease, but uh, quite, quite a bit of uh, back and forth went on with that line until the buyout. I know other short lines were even interested in purchasing it for a while. I think all those tank cars are for some large industry uh, south of uh, Fort Wayne. I'm thinking maybe Decatur or some area like that. There's probably somebody out there that knows for sure, but uh, I think that's what they're for. stop so he can uh, work the uh, Marion branch uh, switch. train. They will shortly pause to uh, work the uh, Fort Wayne line switch and just pick up speed and head off towards Fort Wayne. Closing the derail it looks like, pulling up the bridges before he uh, gets back on the train. Hope you enjoyed this nostalgic look at operations in Warsaw, Indiana back in 90. I know this isn't the best of quality, but as I've said before, it's all I got and I can't do it over. If you see any value in this, like, subscribe. I do plan on doing more. Notch her up and head east to Fort Wayne. Again, thanks for watching.